where you'll park on Friday night. Free kick then for Trohada. Had it clear by Chris Shields. Had it up in the air by Adam Wickstead. Back to Wickstead, has a shot, Wickstead! Oh, good save, Gary Rogers. Ball bounced kindly for Wickstead. Set it up and then shot, Rogers with a great save. It's not the greatest of passes, that. Easy intercepted by Robbie Benson. Here's McElhenney. Tries to pick up Duffy at the back post, Duffy with the header. Spins straight back to Michael Duffy! And the dog take the lead, five minutes in. Lovely high hanging cross. Duffy with the initial header. Wasn't the greatest of clearances, but a clinical finish. Sean Gannon. Gannon again. There's Dylan Connolly. Set up by Duffy. Connolly. Connolly decides to shoot. Oh, beats Stephen McGuinness. 2 0. 28 minutes. Beautiful strike. Great finish. Michael Duffy. It's all done, Doc. Good run by Duffy. There's McElhenney. All twinkle toes himself. McElhenney! Didn't miss by much that. Looked like it took a bit of deflection into the area. Not enough dip. Connolly. Oh, he's run into his man and the linesman on the far side says that's a free kick for Dundalk. Duffy will take. Here's Garpland. And he scores goals. A big defender up from the back. With a strong header from Duffy's free kick and it's 3-0. 49 minutes gone. McMillan. Looking for the return ball. Here's Duffy. Duffy's everywhere. Duffy! Just wide. And he is running the show, Michael Duffy. Dylan Connolly really has been a revelation since his move from Bray Wanderers. Fortunate ricochet there. Connolly going a long way. Here's Connolly into the area. And he's gone down. And referee Neil Doyle decides that's a penalty. Stephen Dunn was the nearest to Ryan Connolly. Oh, well. He's gone to ground and referee Neil Doyle gives the penalty to McMillan who thumps it home. And the Docker out of sight. Richie Purdy. There's Luke Gallagher. Oh, off the crossbar. And cleared by Shane Grimes. A lovely shot with the left boot. And Rogers beating all ends. Grimes with the header, there's Duffy, nice take by Duffy, faced by Stephen McGuinness, gets it across, and cleared off the line, McMillan was lurking. Grimes, Duffy is outside of him, Duffy again, oh, just couldn't find McMillan in the centre, and again it's cleared off the line. Well, Todd his goal, leading a charm life. O'Donnell, flips it into Duffy. Ricocheted off the crossbar. McMillan oh, couldn't steer it home. Came off the defender, flipped onto the crossbar, and McMillan's header was wide. And there goes the final whistle, blown by referee Neil Doyle. Easy as you like. The Dock into the semi finals. The Dock four. Draw the United nil. I thought the players, um, you know, they played very well first half and. Played with a lot of confidence and created a lot of chances and uh, two first goals, very good goals. Um, so it's, uh, you know, you can never take the derby for granted, especially in the cup. And I think uh, the players deserve credit for the run, the run of games that they're on now. They've showed some really good form and scored a lot of goals. As I said earlier, it just emphasises the difference between where they are and where we are. And um, for us to get to that, if anybody can ever get to that level, I mean, they're, they're, they're a well-tuned, well-coached team. They know their job. They're obviously working every day of the week where our lads are going to college and all that kind of stuff. So no complaints, really, with the result. Yes, it certainly was a very 